Hi, I'm Chris Sangster, and welcome back to the studio. Look, there's a lot of talk about AI in the music industry these days. But don't worry, this is not another video about the doom and gloom or the AI slop or any of the negative aspects of AI. Instead, I want to focus on one of the positive aspects of AI. And that is the incredible new tools that are coming out as a result of this technological advancement. Tools that we only dreamed of having years ago are now becoming reality. And that side of AI is super exciting to me. In today's video, I want to show you one of those exciting tools. It's ReStem Pro from Wave Machine Labs. Formerly known as ReBeat, ReStem is an AI-powered stem separator designed exclusively for drum tracks. It will analyze a file and automatically separate out the kick, snare, hi-hat, toms, ride, and crash into their own individual stems. And I've partnered with Wave Machine Labs to do something super exciting, something that is a first for this channel and will greatly benefit one of you guys. So stay tuned to the end of the video for the announcement on that. ReStem can function as its own standalone plugin, but you know me, I'm putting this thing through its paces in Logic Pro. Let's dive in. Unlike other AI powered stem separators, like Logic's own stem splitter, ReStem is specifically tuned for drums. And anything that you throw at it that's not a drum will end up down here in this other stem. And it can handle most source material, whether that be a drum loop, a live recording, or even a full mix. Let's start with this drum loop and load up ReStem as a plugin on the track. ReStem works offline, meaning that the audio must be captured into the plugin. It's the same workflow as Melodyne and other powerful plugins that sacrifice real time processing for the sake of quality results. This does, of course, mean that once the audio is captured into ReStem, anything we do to the underlying regions will not be heard while we're playing back within the bounds of the capture. Let's hit the record button and play through the drum loop. Once we stop, ReStem uses its custom AI powered algorithm to intelligently split out the drum loop into the individual drum kit pieces. And just this alone does a pretty good job of separating the parts. We can solo each track to hear them on their own. We can mute individual stems. And we can remix the levels of the stems by using these knobs at the bottom, which shows off one of the many great use cases for ReStem, remixing a drum loop. Imagine you have a drum loop that you love the kick and snare in, but you don't care for the hi-hat pattern too much. Just hit mute on the hi-hat stem and boom, you've got your perfect kick and snare loop. But we can take this all to the next level with the gate and shaper tools found on each stem in the pro version of ReStem. These allow us to further refine the separation between each stem, which is a feature that I think is really lacking on most other AI stem separators. They're all just click one button and it's done. No customization. So let's take the kick drum in this drum loop for an example. If we solo it, we're still hearing a tiny ghost of the snare in between the kick hits. It's pretty subtle, but it's definitely there. If we enable the gate by clicking on the gate button above the kick and ticking on the enable switch, we can adjust the threshold with this line here to eliminate that little bit of leftover snare sound. Just raise the threshold line until only the big waveform spikes that represent the kicks are green and everything else is red, which means it's muted. We can even fine tune the timing of the gate down here with the attack, hold, and release controls. Since this kick sound has some body to it after the initial transient, 
I'm gonna slightly lengthen the hold and release times so that all of that boom comes through. You can really see it on these three kicks that are right next to each other. With the longer hold and release settings, they're all green with no red or muted audio in between those three hits. We can do the same thing to the snare stem to eliminate a little bit of that lo-fi effect sound that bled into this stem. And now we have only the snare and claps sounding in this stem. But because the gate is not perfectly capturing the initial transients, it sounds a little less impactful than it did before. And that's where this next function called shaper comes in. If we open it up and enable it, we see that we have the ability to further refine the shape of the transients. By boosting the attack setting, we can recover that bit of snap that was lost and now we have a clean, punchy snare stem. And that's as good of stem separation for a drum loop as you could possibly ask for. It sounds like it was made this way. No weird phase issues or artifacting, just a clean kick and snare. Super impressive. But ReStem Pro doesn't stop there. It also has built in integration with Wave Machine Lab's other flagship product, Drumagog. If you don't know Drumagog, it was one of the OG drum sample replacement plugins that allows you to replace the sound of an acoustic drum track with samples. Very common practice these days, and Drumagog was one of the first tools specifically designed for this. We've built in access to Drumagog and a portion of its sample library on both the kick and snare stems inside of ReStem Pro. If we click here on Drumagog above the kick, we can enable it and then hit select, and we see the sampling of Drumagog's library that comes packaged with ReStem Pro. We can choose one of these samples and replace the original kick drum sound in the loop with it. Then we can adjust the threshold for the sample triggering in the same way we adjusted the threshold for the gate, by moving this line so that the sample triggers only when the kick drum hits. We can even blend the sample in with the original kick sound by using this handy mix slider. One cool, slightly hidden feature of this Drumagog integration is that if we have the drum loop already playing, like with the cycle going in Logic Pro, and then go to select a sample, we can audition the different samples in context just by clicking on them. And some of the samples even come with more controls like this one that includes fatness, richness, and top definition sliders. We can also load in our own samples if we want by navigating to our own sample library and selecting a WAV file. I would recommend clicking on this drop down arrow to access a quick view of the files on your system and any external hard drives. The setup's a little non intuitive, but if you click on this little drop down menu, it works pretty much the same as navigating through any other files on your system. This leads me to what I consider to be the most powerful use case for ReStem Pro, something that I and many of you have been searching for an easy and reliable way to do for years. And that is creating MIDI from a drum loop. And there's no messing around with any internal MIDI routing or anything like that. Just by harnessing the power of ReStem and Logic Pro together, it's so easy. Head down to this cogwheel icon in the bottom right of the ReStem window. Then click show stems. Because ReStem is analyzing our drum file offline, it automatically saves a WAV file of each stem to our hard drive. And we can simply drag and drop these files into the session.
Sidebar about the restem settings, make sure you're using save stems per project mode with this tick box here. That way stems from the previous projects are not overwritten when the new stems are processed. They're all saved into individual project files on your hard drive. So now we have the audio files of each drum stem on separate tracks. Handy in its own right for remixing, surely. But we can now use Logic's drum replacement tool to quickly create a MIDI track for each part. So let's select the hi-hat track and press Control D to bring up the drum replacement menu. Choose other for the instrument and replacement for the mode. Then we wanna make sure we see one MIDI note for each of the hi-hat hits in the audio file. If not, we can adjust the threshold slider, but looks like we're good here. We can then change the trigger note to match the closed hi-hat sound in Drum Machine Designer, that's F sharp one. Hit okay. And then we can load a drum machine designer patch or use any drum software instrument we like. Do the same to the kick and snare and boom, loop is converted to MIDI. So cool. Now we're free to edit this to our heart's content to make a new pattern that's completely unique for our song. Or we could take this whole thing to the next level by chopping out a sample of the audio kick, snare, and hi-hat stems and then loading them into Drum Machine Designer individually. L let me show you how to do this. So load up a software instrument track with a blank instance of Drum Machine Designer. Then chop out a sample of the kick, snare, and hi-hat. To do this quickly, select over the waveform with the marquee tool, and then hit shift and the right arrow key to tab the beginning of the marquee selection to the transient. Then just click with the pointer tool inside the marquee selection to chop the sample. Now all we have to do is drag these new regions onto one of the pads in Drum Machine Designer and we can play a new pattern with the drum sounds from the original loop. So cool. I hope you're starting to see just how powerful ReStem Pro is. It unlocks so many possibilities for working with drum loops and single track drum recordings. Things that I've been dreaming of for years are finally possible with ReStem Pro, and that's why I had to make this video. And it's also why I am so excited to partner with Wave Machine Labs to host a giveaway for one license of ReStem Pro. That's a $199 value, and one of you guys is gonna win it. All you got to do is be subscribed to this channel and leave a comment below this video, but you got to do it in the next 10 days. At 9 a.m. Pacific time on July 22nd, I'll be selecting the winner at random from the comment section on this video. So drop a comment down below. Good luck. I'm so excited to get this plugin into one of your hands and see what you can do with it. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you at the studio next time. Thanks.